Beer Review, brought to you by the International Hop Haze Appreciation Society. Hashtag Haze Nation. What's up, nerds? So today, i got to keep my head halfway in the freaking camera. Today we are going the next thing out of the fridge. Blue Brew. Hashtag Haze Nation. Uh, so, triple double IPA experiment. Um, today we have Warrior for Bittering, novel. Uh, Hull Melon at 2010 5 and Whirlpool for 5 ounces total. And then, in true Lou Brew fashion, I hadn't seen this until right now. Check the check the dry hop numbers out on that. If it'll focus. It's going to focus on my stupid face. Anyway, so we have a double dry hop, a 6 ounce dry hop, and an 8 ounce keg hop. So, needless to say, Lou is not fucking around with the dry hop. That's awesome. Uh, cheers, Ryan. Let's see if I can get a, a full-on quality Brad Pico pour. Cheers, Elder Pete. And we'll see if in this clear IPA recipe, if Ryan can bring the haze. Not really bringing the carbonation. <laughs> oh, there's some carbonation in there. What have I? I should not throw stones. Um, I don't know if my beer is carved that well either. Um, yeah, this could could maybe stand a little, a few more bubbles, but that is uh, that's fine. Some very nice beers don't have very many bubbles. So, Ryan, cheers, my brother. Um, okay. Ooh, holy melon. So, oddly enough, I've had a bunch of beers with Hull Melon. I've had a, everybody's had a million beers with Mosaic. So right away, you know what Mosaic smells like. Why am I still out of the fucking center of the goddamn... Okay. Anyway, I don't, neither here nor there. Um, right away, this thing smells like melon. Like, straight up mixed melon. Like a little watermelon, a little cantaloupe in there. And some, like... Uh, Some tropical, it's very tropical smelling, but like, like papaya and guava, almost. Very interesting. It's not that classic mosaic, you know, almost blueberry thing. It does smell very nice, though. Um, but uh, interestingly, I, I think I, the, maybe, and maybe it's just a combo of the whole melon and the mosaic, but that's a, that's a pretty solid combo there so let's get a let's get a taste on it cheers Ryan <clears throat> so the warrior the bitterness is sharper on this beer than the last one I had some of that could be from that ginormous dry hop um I think you get a lot of the hop oils from, from dry hop, and at some point, they're going to affect your, your palate that way. This is interesting. It, the flavor doesn't really follow the nose all that much. It's got a... It's kind of got... Nate and I have talked about the... Uh, and and Dan, probably Dan and probably... I don't know. Probably all of, all of these guys... Um, the kind of diesel fuel thing that sometimes you get from Mosaic. This has got a little diesel. Which has got a lot of diesel. But in a, not in the, it's, it's, I like that diesel from, from big dry hops. I like that. I don't know why. A de we need to think of a better way to describe it than diesel fuel, but. That's kind of what I get. Um, I do wish it had a little more carbonation. I think that would would uh, pick it up a little bit, but I'd be fucking stoked to have a keg of this. I know that. The melon, huh. Funny how the melon comes through so much more in the nose than it does in the flavor, and I would think that would be the case if those two hops were flipped and you had mosaic in the boil and the whole melon is the dry hop. 
but for whatever reason, for me anyway, the uh, the melon really really carries in this beer. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, I can ramble on about melon more. Um, I probably can't say melon more than I said strawberry in the last review. So, uh, Lou Brew, cheers, brother. This is a tasty fucking beer, man. I'm going to go drink the rest of it. And then uh, I have a little bit of time tonight, like 20 minutes. So if I... I'm more than 20 minutes, but maybe I'll go make a little dinner, come back down, fire another one of these off. So anyway, cheers, nerds. Triple-double hop experiment. Thank you, Mike Dean. You're the best. Yandu, nerds. <laughs>